the weight. Put it so, under the axle to hold the weight. Sure, but I need more blocks. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I would say just leave it on there like that flat. I wouldn't put a wood under the tire. Strap it down. It's going to pull the wheel right down to the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. It's still going to pull the wheel down to the wood. equipment trailer like shorter than that bitch not gooseneck this buddy of mine had a horse truck and he said and something screwed up on and i can't remember i think it was a carrier bearing because it had like three dry shafts in it yep. so long and he goes man this thing is vibrating and something's going wrong i get in and drive and i go it's the drive shaft it's carrier bearing he goes how do you know i said because i got shit and junk and it does fucking does that so i get out and i shake it i said yep that's it he goes man could you fix it for me i said yeah i'll fix it so i take it home i'll fix it he goes and hauls his horses and goes to Richmond the Fair and all this shit. He comes back and he has nowhere to really keep it parked. So he calls me and he goes, Dennis, he goes, would, uh, would you mind uh, let me park my truck out there at your house? So jokingly, I said, let me tell you, you park shit in my yard, it will be used. He said, good, use it. I want you to use it. And it was a nice truck. It was an F700 with a five-speed with a two-speed rear end in it. Oh, cool. And a big horse van of all these uh, Clydesdale horses. Nice. So it came up like a big giant camper over top of the cab, little storage shit up there, and it had a ramp door on this side that came down so you can load the horses. And on the back of it, it just had a set of barn doors, uh, okay. uh, barn doors on it, but had ramps underneath yep. it that you pull out, big wild ones for the horses to come up and down there. Inside of it, it had these holes in the floor, so you put up all these pipe dividers for compartments to put them all in there. And then on this side, they had a door that swung open, and the top half of it would swing back this way. So, like, if you were standing in it, you could stand there like you were riding a train in the back of it, you know. And plus, it had it has an intercom system in the back of it. So you push a button, and it talks to the cab. And this bitch is fancy. So it had two bucket seats in it. And he had this little box, he kept some little flares and a little bullshit in it. So I had this fucking boat, jet boat with these little um, goddamn racing seats in it. So I took that one boat seat out, because the boat was fucked up anyway. I take that seat out. So I got three bucket seats in the front okay. of this thing. I turned it into my hauling rig. So I'm pulling Gravedigger behind it. And when I would go to a show, I'd have like 11 or 12 people would go. So I would have that thing back there on the trailer off the big tires i had little tires on it and the tires were stacked in the back of the, in the horse truck, and the horse truck toolboxes goddamn everything that you could see in cords and generators shit i mean just piled up man <laughs> 11 people we had couches two couches down both sides the table cards all kinds of shit. It looked like a house now, like we were living in this bitch like a pack of gypsies. <laughs> so damn, I'm cruising down the road and this and the two speed rear end was scuff. Like yang yang get fucked up and you would have to stop that bitch to, to make it. it go. So they would all be in the back drunked up, fucked up, and they fuck with me on that PA. Going, ah, if you can't find them, grind them. And rah, 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 rah. Well, they would talk to me going down the road because they would always get on there and it'd be like, you know, one o'clock or midnight or something, they're going Hey man, can you pull over, man? We got everybody got to go to the bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I like, and I'm always with jumping, like, oh fuck, because I'm watching tires, I'm blowing shit. I'd have tires stacked up. I'd go get a bunch of used ass tires, and I was paranoid as fuck, like going off the hills, like, oh man, finally I'm gonna run fucking 65 or 70, you know. <laughs> and then I'm getting scared because a tire would shoot off this bitch. Yeah, it's foggy sucks. as hell, man. I'm like in Cumberland Mountains up there somewhere in Maryland going to this goddamn show well they pissed me off about you know fucking with me on the PA so then I just cut it off so I wouldn't stop I don't care if they had to shit theirself I wasn't even gonna stop and I look back and it's like two o'clock in the morning there's my brother-in-law leaned up on that door and he looks out and he sees me look in the mirror at him he goes like <laughs> looks like he's like you know in a fucking train or whatever he just waving like hey, hey, hey. And I'm like damn man you ain't gotta go to the bathroom yet so then we start going through the mountains I start coming down those hills I'm like fuck man it's like three o'clock in the morning and I'm looking back at the 
is foggy and I always look with road spray and it's like, is it, is that fucking smoke or is it, what is it doing, you know, uh -huh. just checking it all the time. Yeah. And I come down this hill and I start like mashing it to the floor going down this big long hill and I'm probably running like 65 and it is smoking a lot out of one side. It looks like, you could tell we're blowing shit off the road. So I keep going, I go up the other side of the hill like this, I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Oh yeah, having a hard time. Yeah, and I don't want to mess with the fucking two speed because that bitch is about ready to not get shift up or down. So I'm down shifting big chunks at a time, you know. I'm struggling. I'm getting up to the top of the damn hill. By the time we're going to crest the hill, blue lights and shit come on. I go, what the fuck? This goddamn state troop pulls me over and I come over there sitting in a damn truck and he goes, uh, how you doing, sir? And that door is open. And there's 11 people in this motherfucker. <laughs> that door is open. They laid back and just was quiet. He comes up there and, you know, asks for my license and all that stuff. He goes, uh, you realize you've got a tire smoking back here on this trailer? Said, oh, no, is it? He goes, oh, uh, yes, sir. He says, I think you've lost a tire. I'm like, oh, man, these things. You know, I'm thinking, oh, my God, I hope you don't check everything because that trailer was so illegal. The truck was good. <laughs> somebody else owned it. Trailer was a piece of shit. And, I don't even know what the tags are off of. So I go back there with him, and he's being nice and shining a light. And I look, and that son of a bitch didn't come off. Usually it would come off. Yeah. It had come apart and wrapped up all around oh, the goddamn yeah, axle yeah. and locked it up. And I had filed the tire and the rim flat. Yeah. And I was dragging it down the goddamn mountain. You know? And so he's out there messing around, and I want him to leave. But yeah, it's kind of like bored, you know. So he's going to stay and hang with me. And I wanted to go, you know, casually, like, go up there and open the door. My jack, my tools, everything's in there with all of these 11 fucking party animals I got laying around playing cards down the road. So, in, you know, I finally get busted with them, you know what I mean? Oh, I, shit, yeah. yeah. I open the fucking door, you know, and so Jack, hey, what's up, man? He's all fucked up. And I'm like, that much, man, I got it. So the cops are here, and the cop is leaning against my ass like this while I'm talking in there. But anyway, he was cool. He didn't. He didn't arrest nobody. Everybody stayed in. A couple guys got out and helped me. We jacked it up and done our thing. But that was a fucking horror night for me right there. And I fucking hated him so bad over fucking with me with that PA and all this shit. And I told him, you guys ain't never riding with my shit again. Get in a van and follow me or something. You, you told me about a trip in that where it, where they was bothering you to piss and you wouldn't stop. Oh, that, that was finally, it. Finally that was it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. It was, uh, yeah, because I wouldn't stop. So they go to the bathroom and I get up and the goddamn we and we were got, getting another scurry of something about it. I go, get in the transmission phone. And uh, they ain't here. I said, God damn, it's in the toolbox. It's right here, da, da, da. And somebody goes like, Coleman Davis, I think, is the one that rigged up. He goes, no, I remember we got it rigged up. That's their urinal. So they take a transmission <laughs> funnel with a, then one of the slobber tubes, you know, a little yeah. tube, and got it run through one of those holes in the floor, and it's tie wired up in the corner, so they're pissing that transmission funnel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that was it. Are you ready? <laughs> Just one more. Come on. Open this bitch up. And I felt bad, but I was like, God damn it. And I took everything they had on the shelf. So I put two of them back up there. Just because in case somebody came and go, what the fud? I mean, God damn. So I go to the lady goes, what the world are you doing? I'm acting like I'm selling the shit at the diner, you know. Hey, go to Sam's Club or a restaurant depot and get it cheaper than this. I said, now I'm doing something else with it. Da, 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 whatever. So we come up here, and it's about four or five of us. We're drinking just a little bit and kind of partying it out. And when I do the test, it's dark and hell, you know, maybe it might have been one or two cars coming. We weren't even looking at the cars. Right. So here we go, man. The first one we light off, and I made sure I packed her ass big and bad because it's only us here. So let's just see what it's really going to do. And that thing goes like, <laughs> I mean, this huge, like 50 foot wide and about 30 foot high fireball. And I'm like, God damn, that's badass. So we get excited. We run over there and go, fuck yeah. So we do another one. I got another one rigged up, man. And I go, shoom. I said, oh my God, that shit's golden. So we sat here about another damn 10 minutes. We're going to wrap it up because mosquitoes and shit are out. Here comes the freaking fire marshal shit. Everybody hauling ass over here, coming down the road like, and we're looking at the lights coming, going, hey, what the hell is that? And they must have a rack or something somewhere. And they come, oh shit, they're coming in here. Somebody calls in. Yeah, I'm getting ready here. Oh, that's a fireball. So they called it in, and they think a plane crashed. Because <laughs> it's out here in the middle of a dark field, and I think a plane crashed. 
Yeah. Son of a bitch. Yeah. All right. How much do you think they're going to the charge them for that? The huh? Transfer case. Rear U joints broke. It broke every joint, and the front ends broke. It was, dra it was dragging a wheel on the way over here. Uh, it was. The front ends broke on the inside. Yeah. Must be broken U joints. It's, it's this thing's got goofy C CB joints uh -huh. and uh, tiny little U joints on them. And I broke them once before. I don't know. Yeah, it's got slop in it. Is that side that was locked yeah, up? The U joints break. Halves are heavy as hell. I used to do, I ran those big ass shafts and when breaking off my transfer case and I had a little teeny SCS magnesium case that weighed 49 pounds. I'd tear the bearings out of it and all that. And then when they figured out, I was like, this thing ain't near as tough as y'all said it is. And I came by their shop one time and they go, are you hooking that thing up to that damn thing? I said, yes. No goddamn wonder it ain't staying together. Well, well I think what I need to do is put a, put a, a lower center chunk. If I put a six to one center chunk or seven to one center chunk with a three to one planetary, yes. then I can back and run higher gear. Right, right. You put can. less stress on it. And another thing is too is like you know we gone through it with, and when Ryan you know had the uh, son of a digger with the blower motor and shit, and we'd shuck and dry shafts like we would go and he just raise hell and do all kinds of shit, and then like we'll go like a month or two later, and he makes one little pass, bing! Like now that bitch is. I don't know why it's doing it now, but you've been raising hell with us. Did y'all take the tri shafts apart and make sure they slide? Well, they, I mean, you can see them move a little bit. I'm like, bullshit. If you got to take that bitch down, after you run them in the goddamn mud, if you can't slide it with your hand, you have a problem. Yep. If yep. you got to beat it back and forth, it'll kill the you. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you got that bitch has got to float, man. When you're doing this shit with this much tribal. And the shafts may not even move that much. I don't know. Exit like 25, but the shaft didn't stay in, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> it was high. You know, I'm telling you, man, you can see it on video. Oh, yeah. When you, oh, yeah. I'm standing the, on the, the ground right the there looking at, at it, the top of the range. that's the best backflip that's ever happened here, I can tell you that. It's probably the best backflip I've seen a mega truck do that I've been there in person anyway. It yeah. was good. Oh, look. <laughs> it and, and it was perfect, man, because when it quit and it stopped, the crowd exploded. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And it was just right because, you know, would it have been better if you kept going? Maybe so, but you know what they would have forgot about? A lot of them would have forgot about the good part that you did do. If you went down there and, you know, went over a hill and broke a wheel off and then fell over in slow motion, that would have been your ending. That was a great ending. Yeah, that think. was a great ending. <laughs> great beginning, great ending. <laughs> yeah, trying to train me last, yesterday, you know, let off, let off, let off. Right, well, end. see, that's what breaks all the shit. But, you come around so, and I'm it's so wide worried. open. I'm, I want that motherfucker to come around so yeah. I ain't letting off till I know. So. Well, honestly, I learned it from Ryan and watching Ryan and Ryan said, remember, Dad, when you do the backflip, as soon as you come around, you see the dirt let off of it so it don't do too much, you know, and blow your shit apart. And I'm like, all right, I got it. And I did, and I've done, and I've only done, I've tried it five times, and I've only landed it twice. Which way, Brian? <laughs>